Let's move on to something else uh, because okay. this is something that really disturbs me. I talked about this at the top of the program too. Now, Matthew McConaughey, very famous actor who comes from the town of Uvalde in Texas, that saw, saw that shocking school massacre. Now, he's gone to his hometown and he's provided support and succour and good on him for doing that. And he's spoken out to try and get some uh, bipartisan agreement before some gun control. That's good. Good on him for all of that. But I just wonder, as a bloke who's made a lot of movies and violent movies, whether he and Hollywood aren't part of the problem. Here's some of his filmography. When the lion's hungry, he eats. Yeah, you don't want to steal our corn and our mule. Gentlemen. Hey, hey, hey! I brought this. You got one chance to turn around and leave. Yeah, Liz, uh, if part of the problem here is a culture of violence and a culture of uh, fascination with gun violence, isn't Hollywood part of the problem? Yep, they really are. There's, tell you what, Hollywood is just so packed full of hypocrites, Chris. It does my head in. The same can go for the sexualization of society. They scream their heads off about consent. They scream their heads off about domestic violence and yet consistently produce movie after movie and TV series after TV series that glorifies violent sexual norms and, and other practices. I mean... And the same goes here for guns, as you've rightly pointed out. The thing is, the fact remains, guns have been around for a very long time now. We simply haven't seen this level of shootings. So we're not addressing the core issues by simply clamping down on access to guns. And please, can someone please explain to me how criminals obey laws anyway, because we're talking about the exact kind of people who will get their hands on them, regardless of what laws you pass. I'm sorry, that's just the case. Yeah, you gotta, you, you got to make it harder for them, though, don't, don't you, Justin? Even if it's just a cooling down period and it's the type of weapons they get. Oh, man. And they've got to stop blaming everything else. You know, we've seen the politicians blame the fact that the doors, they've got two doors into the school. And, you know, they seem to pick everything else apart from the fact that they've got to get rid of the guns. They've got too many guns and they're far too easy to get. Yeah, gee, I'd love them to fix it because, I mean, America is our mate. And, you know, we're just sitting here, you know, sitting back in Australia watching our mate shoot themselves. It's shocking it, it business, hurts, doesn't it?